Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I couldn't get the full picture of this dress because of the insecurity you are facing in the southeast. I had to close my office and leave. But the dress is really beautiful. So this is the skirt part and this is the top. I couldn't get the finished look but we, the tutorial is complete. So this is the fabric that I'll be using. Apparently I have crepe fabric here. A crepe fabric and I like the texture of this fabric. I wish you can feel it. It is not too stretchy and it is not stiff. It is not too light. It is not too thick. I just love it. Though I couldn't find the shade of the navy blue that I wanted. The full length of this particular dress is 47 inches. It is a three quarter dress so it is 47 inches. First of all, I'll cut the skirt part. I will start by taking out the half length of this dress. Her half length is 16 inches. So I will start off by taking out 16 inches from the half length for the half length. Then I will mark my shoulder to hip, my shoulder to knee, and then the full length of this dress. After marking them, I'll go ahead and rule my lines. You need to rule your hip line, your knee line, and your full length. I'll go ahead and take my hip measurement divided by 4 plus 1 inch seam allowance. I am adding just 1 inch seam allowance because this is a corporate dress. It will have no lining and it is somehow stretchy. So I'm adding just 1 inch for seam allowance. My waist, I'll divide my waist by 4 plus 1 inch for seam allowance. Then I'll connect my waist to my hip. At the full length, I'll take out 8 inches from my hip measurements and I will mark whatever I have there. My hip is 42 minus 8. That is 34. I will divide the 34 by 4 and that should be around um 9 inches. 8 point something 9 inches. So I marked it and then I connected. And after marking this, I'll go ahead and cut. After cutting this front, I will use it to cut out my back. The only difference between the front and the back is that the back will have a zipper allow allowance. So after cutting this, I will use it to cut out the back of this skirt. After cutting the back, you go ahead and open your zipper allowance. You will have a zipper and the slits at the back. Now, I'll go ahead and keep this aside. For the front, I will draft a, the pattern for the front. Because of the design it has on the left side, it has a design around the dart line of the left. So, I will start off by drafting my pattern. Then, I will use it to cut the top. It will help me to get it accurately. So before I do that, I will cut out the sleeve of this dress. If anytime I'm making a long sleeve, I will make sure to cut out my sleeve first of all before cutting out the rest of the clothes so that the sleeve will not have joining. The front and the back can have joining because of the dart line, but the sleeve, the, any joining will not look neat on your sleeve. So if you're making a corporate dress, after getting your skirt, cut out your sleeve before cutting out any part of the dress so this is a long sleeve and the full length is 25 inches plus 2 inches for hemming then i will mark 14 for her arm sleeve is 14 plus 1 inch for seam allowance then her wrist area is 8 inches plus 1 inch for seam allowance so i'll divide 8 into 2 that will be 4 plus 1 inch for seam allowance after doing that, I'll go ahead and cut out. So after cutting out this particular sleeve, I will use it to cut out the second one. I am cutting one one in order to manage my fabric. By the way, I used three years of crepe, three years by 60. The length is by 60. I used three years to achieve this dress. So right now, I am done with the two sleeves. 
i'll start with the front so now this is the pattern for the front i'll go ahead and fold it you will fold the front pattern fold it it will help you to get the necessary measurements so after folding this pattern i'll take my chest line my bust point my half length you don't really need to do under bust measurements just your chest line your bust points your on your half length and your allowance so her chest line is eight inches her bust point is 10 inches her half length is 16 and i'm adding extra two inches at the half length area for allowance i want to add two inches for the allowance then i'll also mark my boss point her boss point is 10 her half length is 16 her chest line will be eight chest line is usually two inches above boss points if your boss point is 12 just make your chest line 10 inches if your boss point is 11 just make your chest line nine inches so after doing that i'll roll the lines then for the neckline we are using our normal three by three but for me i didn't want her neck to be too tight so i made the neck width three inches and the neck depth three and half so after rolling these lines i will label them i have my chest line i have my boss points and then the allowance the next thing is to mark her shoulder her shoulder is 16 inches divided by two and i'll go ahead and mark that is eight i will mark the 16 inches then i'll also connect a straight line to the chest line after connecting to the chest line i will mark my armhole this is my armhole curve i'll just go ahead and mark my armhole for the neckline i told you guys that i don't want her neckline to be too tight so the width the wideness of her neck is three inches on fold and for the neck depth i used 3.5 for her neck depth so after marking your neck you just go ahead and connect the next thing you are going to do is to add a shoulder slant i'm using one inch for my shoulder slant and i'll go ahead and add my shoulder slant then you will get your dart line her nipple to nipple is eight divided by two that is four and i'll mark a straight line to touch my bust point i'll be using a normal dart for this particular dress one side you have a normal that the other side you have a shoulder that's that's why i said that you should fold your pattern while cutting out this dress so i have taken out my half an inch half an inch for my darts and your dart should stop at one inch below your bust point you can see that my dart slant stopped at one inch below my bust point so next thing that i'm going to do is that i will take my bust measurement my bust divided by four plus one inch seam allowance i'm adding my allowance to my paper also then at the waist you divide your waist by four one inch for that and another one inch for seam allowance then i'll go ahead and connect it to my chest line the next thing that i'm going to do right now is to cut out this paper and using this front paper using the front paper i'll cut out my back also the front and the back has mm, the difference is not much the only difference is just your zipper allowance so after cutting out this i will use it to cut out my back piece so i will cut out my back piece before i'll continue with the front i hope you understand so i will fold this fabric and i will cut out my back piece first of all before cutting out the front so if you place your paper on this you will cut the half line remains the same the only difference is that the zipper allowance and the neck depth the depth of the back will not be too deep it will be 1.5 at the back neckline 1.5 inch then you go ahead and connect mark your armhole and then open your zipper allowance your zipper allowance should be let's say one inch or 1.5 so you can decide to take out one inch at the half length to avoid your zipper bulge to avoid zipper but then not your darts remember to notch your that so this is all we have for the back and we are also going to cut out a facing for the neckline this is a corporate dress so we we'll cut out a facing for the neckline of the back so back to our front this is our front paper right i'll open it up this is the reason why i said you should cut out your paper on fold i'll go ahead and open our paper up 
and the design on the top will be at the left so i will show that find the midpoint of your shoulder of the remaining part of your shoulder then you connect from that midpoint that shoulder midpoint to your bust point and then you will extend this line you will extend this shoulder line so this is our right and this is our left the design is on the left hand side we are going to open our darts on the left side this particular dart you are going to cut it out you are going to slash it this is where we are going to do our gathers so now this is what we have after doing this you are going to cut out this on your fabric like you will cut your front one one this is my fabric you will see how i'm going to cut it out i will cut it single single and if you are cutting remember to notch the right that the right that will just have a normal that while the left that will have a shoulder that then you are going to add half an inch around that shoulder that area because you are going to join it back to the other one so do not forget to notch your right that and then add half an inch to the left that and then you go ahead and cut out the rest so after cutting this neckline also remember to cut out a facing for the neckline so the front of this dress has two pieces the top of this dress the front has two pieces so after cutting i'll go ahead and cut out a facing for it now we are done with the right side we'll go ahead and cut out the left side of this dress so if you are cutting the rest left side remember to also add your half an inch that at the that area your half an inch seam allowance sorry remember to add, add your half an inch seam allowance at the dart area so right now we are done you can see our right and our left and also the allowance that i added we are done the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to cut out a long piece that we are going to gather around this area you know this dress has gathers at the left hand side so we are going to cut out a piece that we use for that gather now before we do that we are going to cut out the peplum also so let me cut the peplum before going to the long piece now fold your paper into two fold your paper into two then divide your waist into two you know the peplum of this dress is just at the front side it does not have any peplum at the back the peplum is just at the front so divide your waist into two two is just for the front side of your dress so her waist is 29 divided by 30 divided by two sorry her waist is 30 divided by two that is 7.5 and you add one inch for seam allowance for the waistline then the length of this peplum let's make it 10 inches at first this peplum is only at the front so divide your waist into two and then mark on your paper and then mark the full length of the peplum like i said i am using 10 inches for the full length of this peplum now i'm going to cut out this paper i have my waist measurements and i have my 10 inches for the length of the peplum just first length is 10 we are still going to reduce it by the way now you are going to label the right and the left side of this peplum so you will not make any mistake now from the right side around the left side you mark like from the center line go in by three inches this three inches is like the center line you know it has a slant this peplum has a slant so from that three inches just make a little slant this way you can see how i'm marking a triangular line there right so the right side of this peplum is bigger than the left so at the right side go up by four inches and from that four inches you connect it down to the full length at a point i went up by let's say five inches so that the slant will show very well then i'll also repeat the same thing at the left side of this peplum so you can see that the right side of the peplum is bigger than the left side of the peplum now you are going to make your slants and then you cut out the slants you cut out the triangular slant in between them so after cutting out this triangular slant you will have two pieces you have two peplum pieces so this is what we have then the next thing you also have in mind is that the left peplum is shorter it is smaller and it is also shorter 
than that of the right side so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to cut out all of them they will be two two pieces because i will use the main fabric as a lining as well like the main fabric you use your fabric as a lining if you want you can use another lining but for this peplum that i'm making i want it to have a neat finishing so i am all i am using my fabric as the lining also and you can see that i'm adding half an inch seam allowance around all of them so that i will maintain the same measurement so i am done cutting out and you can see what i have right here so i'll just go ahead and reduce the full length of the left peplum a bit just reduce the full length of the left peplum a bit and this is what we have so right now i'll add a hard interface to my peplum to just the lining of this peplum now this is the piece that we are going to gather at the top of our uh, our our bossy or bodies and it is three inches three and a half inch on fold three and a half on fold on fold remember it is on fold so that it will have a nice finishing so this is what it looks like i'll go ahead and fold it and then i'll run a stitch on it it is 3.5 on fold 3.5 on fold so i'll just go ahead and run a stitch on it so for this peplum i'll just go ahead and add a hard interface to the lining just the lining after adding the hard interface i'll come back and turn all of them so now i am done adding my hard interface to the lining i'll go ahead and turn all my peplum in order to give it a very nice finishing you can sew this peplum without adding interface but adding this interface to give it a very fine finishing so just go ahead and add interface to your own now i am done adding my interface i'll go ahead and trim and i will turn after turning i will iron very very well the ironing is really important also make sure that the pointy part of this peplum is showing right now i am done turning and i'll also go ahead and iron now this is the skirt part my girl has shaped it already without knowing that i wanted to use it for a tutorial so i'll just go ahead and trim the full length of the skirt so i will place my peplum this is my peplum i have turned the sides that we show so i'll just go ahead and place them very well so this is not the way it is supposed to be this is the right way so what i'm going to do is that i will loosen this skirt and then i will fix my peplum i will fix my peplum and pin it down i just want to like loosen the skirt so i have loosened the skirt and i'll go ahead and pin down my peplum you need to have a clear view of what your peplum is going to look like before you join it is very important so this is the other side of the peplum I'll go ahead and pin so make sure you pin very well so that you can have a clear view of what this peplum will look like before you shape so this is what it looks like and I'll go ahead and shape after shaping you will just trim off the excess allowance if your allowance is too much just go ahead and reduce it a bit so after that i will turn to the right side so that you guys can see what our peplum looks like and i think this is the best part of this skirt i love this design so much like i love it so so much now the next thing that i am going to do is that i will iron this skirt very well and i'll also indicate where the slit of the skirt will stop at. so the slit of the skirt will stop at two inches or one inch above your knee line and make sure that you give it a very pencil shape it is very important now over to the top of the dress i'll go ahead and fix my dart this dart is not straight i'll just go ahead and adjust it so i'll fix my darts on the 
right side only then this is the back i am done turning the neckline with my facing and i'll go ahead and close my zipper allowance first of all i like closing my zipper allowance before taking my measurements i don't know why but i just like closing it gives me an accurate measurement so i'll close the zipper allowance and keep aside now this is the piece that we are going to gather at the front what i'm going to do is that this is the right side right and i'm done adding the dart on the right side i'll go ahead and gather this piece in between i'll just gather it first of all after making my gathers or my pleats i'll just join the other one in order to cover the gather so now i am done making that gathers and i'll go ahead and join the other one so if you join it it will close the rough seam now this is what we have right this is what we have and it is looking really nice the next thing that i'm going to do is that i'll take my body measurements you join the shoulder and you take your bust and your waist measurements after taking your bust and your waist measurements you will iron very well and then you will add join it to the skirt part of your dress so guys we have online courses going on if you want to register i will paste the list of the courses we have here if you want to register you can just drop a comment in the comment section and i will direct you on how to register for our online classes our online classes are well detailed really really detailed so now i'll go ahead and treat retrim my armhole after retrieving my armhole i will fix my sleeve remember we have a long sleeve so just shape your sleeve trim your armhole fix your sleeve and then join the skirt part like i said i didn't get the final look of this dress because i was rushing to close because of insecurity so now that is all for our tutorial do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so that whenever i post a video you will get notified thank you all so much bye